Welcome to Film Vets. I'm your host, Paul Dixon, and with me is my co-host, as always, Dan Young. It's because you can't Dan- replace me. I tried. It didn't work. You, you tried. I will give you that. You tried. You can't. Well, you just applied with a different name. It was Ran Young. I was like, oh, that sounds familiar. But I was like, oh, you know, he's, yep. he's a good he sent, fit. He sent the link, and I joined, and you seem just as disappointed every time. What are we watching today? So today we're gonna we're gonna check out a trailer called Spoiler Alert. No spoilers. <laughs> it's all spoilers. Here we go. All right. Middle child, two brothers. We're actually very close, but they live in different states. Only child. Childhood obsessions. Christmas magic. I want you to hold me. Come and lay My name is Michael. You're a great dancer. You're a terrible liar. And that's Kit. I've always imagined that my life was like a typical romantic comedy. You were so confident. I mean, you just swept off your clothes like you're a stripper at a bachelorette party. And I basically shower with clothes on. <laughs> I'll just shut up now. Shall we go to your place tonight? Here's my door. Before we go in, just open the door. OK. What is this, Michael? Oh, you don't want to? Oh, my god, they're in here, too. <laughs> oh, Papa. Whoa. You turn my sixes to nine. I think you're very cool, and I'm worried that you're going to break my heart. No, I'm bad. This is my friend, Mike. A friend? Yes, Mom. Just a friend. What is going on here? Who is this guy? He's my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? I think it's a great kid. We may not look like it, but we are actually kind of hip. Oh, my God. We were going <laughs> to go to Woodstock, you know. <laughs> Slam. I am. Boy. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this beauty. All I want to be. Kid, what is going on? Are you all right? Calm down off the ledge, Mike. I'm seeing a doctor tomorrow. I'm afraid the news isn't good. Forever and forever if we're not together. I was always afraid Kit would break my heart, and eventually he did. He broke it open. I've only got You have to run the race in front of you because that's all there is. Looking back, this is less of a rom-com and more of a love story. He can't sit for four hours. We promised bed. All the beds are occupied. Get my husband to bed! Well, that was Oscar worthy. Work for Shirley MacLaine. I'm sorry I never told you how good your ass looks in your khaki pants. <laughs> I was afraid if you understood how beautiful you are that you'd leave me. Thank you for inviting us. And it was Kit's idea. I was vehemently opposed to it. And like all love stories, it never actually ends. Hmm. Okay, so I I, I want to kind of just pop out in in front here. <laughs> so the full title, <laughs> the full title of the book is called Spoiler Alert: The Hero Dies at the End. I personally, I've always loved Jim Parsons since The Big Bang Theory. Um, I I, th- I think that he's an amazing actor. Everything that I've seen him in thus far, I, I've loved his rendition of. It. So, what did you think? It doesn't look bad. I will say this: it's not the type of film, and I'm I'm LGBT, so I don't have a problem with people being gay or straight or whatever. But when it comes to romantic comedies in general, I just that's not usually a film I would go out of my way to see. That said, I am with you on that. Jim Parsons is amazingly talented and funny. Big Big Bang Theory, of course. You know what's funny? My mom was going to go as Sheldon for Halloween one year. <laughs> I thought it was amazing. That um, that would be amazing. I would love, I would just love to see a picture of that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think she had the Shazam shirt. I, I can't remember. I think she had like, like an actual outfit for it. And I was like, that's a little too perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. I feel bad. I, like, I, I knowing that I would never go see a film like this, but also say, saying out loud, uh, yeah, it looks decent. But I have to be honest with mm-hmm. myself about that and be like, you know, that's not the type of film I would go to the theater to see. Or I might if I was at home by myself watch it, but I just, I've already got a ton of other movies to watch. If I'm going to watch a romantic comedy, I would specifically a LGBT romantic comedy, I would probably see Bros first because that actually mm. looks more that, of my that comedic looks type hilarious. of film. 
Yeah. Yes. So that that is definitely your more over the top instead of more of just a pulled back reserve yeah. romantic grounded movie. Yeah, and that's just not that's not for me. It looks very sweet though. It looks it looks very sad too. Mm-hmm. I wish the best for Jim Parsons, and I I hope the movie does really well either way. Now what's what's interesting is I'm kind of on the opposite end of that spectrum. I would surprise a lot of people. I am a straight as as an arrow like just a white male dude and oh, really oh. I know it's a shocker. I've known Dan for 20 but, years. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out as straight. What? Man. Thanks for oh, coming you, out as straight. You're welcome. It's about time. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's that. Got to put that back. You, bring um, it back. Br- bring it back. So don't do that. Don't uh, do I would that. go see it in the theater. I I like seeing just the different aspects the way other people live there's a lot to be said about watching bruce willis in in die hard for example like okay you've got that that you know testosterone filled hero going after and beating the bad guys well how many different movies can you really watch that are are just geared towards that facet human life right the that human psyche well sometimes it's nice to see something that somebody else might be living but you wouldn't necessarily even realize is a reality it's somebody's reality and that's what i think movies do so well is they give you just that micro microcosm of somebody else's life somebody else's walk i think this movie would do it and do it in a way that's so grounded that it would feel real that that's why i was excited to see this trailer is one it's got jim parsons in it i think he's phenomenal two it seems like it's really grounded you know well said i i will say it's amazing you were able to fit die hard into this review that's that's a i will die hard anywhere (laughs) you just you know wait until christmas time i will find a way to talk about the greatest christmas movie of all time you just just give me the opportunity put me in coach i I will make it about i think you're referring to christmas with the cranks as the greatest christmas movie of all time i am not (laughs) i am definitely not at all (laughs) so uh yeah don't think so no (laughs) i i no no (laughs) no you you stop it so what did you think (laughs) about the trailer so what did you think about the trailer for spoiler alert were you excited to see it sad to say it's not my type of film but it still looks really sweet and something that you might want to bring your girlfriend or boyfriend to leave your thoughts in the comments below don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to check out our other segment where we talk about veterans who are in or have been in the film industry and have made a difference in the world thank you so much veterans for watching and thank you dan for joining me today thanks for having me and be sure to follow film vets in twitter and on facebook and instagram right i no 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 <laughs> stop pushing that you drug pusher we're going to do enough. instagram twitter do instagram. and facebook did you stop it just say instagram just say, just say no. instagram no right, bye, bye. no no